Yeah, yeah, good day guys. Welcome back to the Co-Gravity Design Training. I believe we're doing great today. This, uh, today, I will show you how to make a text mask effect like a Photoshop on your Android smartphone using your pixeler. So without wasting much of our time, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to select the backgrounds. So I want to use white. So after selecting the background, I'll go to the text area then type this text cool okay you can use any ways of your choice okay so after you select that after you type that you can go to font area then we are going to use multi-zera font multi-zera font so after you select that the next thing is to drag it to the center then make it to be independent and what i mean by that is that let each alphabet stand alone so after you're able to do that, the next thing is to close the space in between the alphabet. Then expand it very well to occupy the whole space. Just space it a little bit. So now increase the size to occupy the whole, the whole screen. Okay, perfect. Or increase it more so that when you close the spacing between the alphabet, it will be accurate. So close it. Then we are going to increase it in one click again. Then let's close it like that and put a finishing touch to it. Okay, perfect. So now that we are able to do that, you go to relative position and position to the center. So if it is not merging the center, you can just centralize, make it center. So after you are able to do that, then the next thing we are going to do is to give this, uh, give it color. So I'm giving it color black or instead I will give it a gray color. Okay, let me give it a gray color. So after assigning a gray color, then what do I need to do for next? I will go to stroke, then enable the stroke. So the stroke will now be white. So I will increase the size to my text. So let's say something like 12. Now for me to be able to see if the stroke is applied very well, I will change the color of the background. Maybe to something like, um, let's say black. So if I change it to black, I'm able to see that this gradient, I mean, this stroke is actually work. But I need to just increase a little bit and uh, let's say to 15. Then after increasing, it's too much anyway. So let's say 13. After increasing, I will space a little bit. Okay, so after spacing, I will reduce the size a little bit. Okay, perfect. So once I'm able to do that, then the next thing I'm going to do is to copy. So once I copy this, I will go to color, tap on plus sign, and you shift this towards the edges backward to make it transparent. So as you can see, this one doesn't get any color. It only has stroke. I will lock it. After locking that, then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to select the white circle. I mean the white shape. I will stretch it to cover the entire screen. After that has been done, I will send it to the back. So once it is being sent to the back, then the next thing I'm going to do is to merge the two together. After merging it together, then I will go to eraser. Sorry. After merging it together, I will go to. I will leave this first. Then the next thing I'm going to do after that has been done, I will go to eraser. I mean, to erase color. So enable it. Now you can see automatically the white is out, but I don't need to let the white out. I need to remove the gray. 
So I will tap on the gray, sorry. Use the color picker, pick on the gray color, tap OK. Now you can see the white from left and right is back. Now I will go to my gallery, bringing the image I want to use. So take it for instance, I'm bringing this image across. So immediately I position this, I will send it to the back. So after sending it to the back, you can see what I'm experiencing here. So I will make sure I lock it. Then I have to deal with the first one. How will I make the left part, I mean the right part to be showing? Now I have to go to erase color. So getting the erase color, I will increase the size a little bit. Then after that, I will pick up my hanger. Just increase the hanger then tap area so once i have it this way i will be able to deal with it i will first of all move to this side where i'm going to erase this so after erasing that i will erase this very well so after erasing this i will go in there erase this again after erasing that i will come into this side erase it after erasing that i will still tr trim it come to this side so this is the area where i want to increase the size after increasing the size i will clear all these parts remember i have the same color to use as the background so i will erase it very well if the anger cannot work again i will remove the anger for me to be able to erase properly okay perfect so now that I have the whole work being done, I've erased all these parts. I will turn on my hanger for me to be able to trim very well. Then reduce the size for me to be able to see. So after doing this, I will still retrim. So go in there, I will still retrim. Okay. Still thinking of something. I will tap on the okay this is cool this is absolutely cool so looking at order so now let's tap ok and see whether there is any mistake so this is cool right so after this has been done you can see but there is still one white particle here i will turn on my mask then drag the mask towards this left okay perfect so i will i will reduce the size of the mask just as perfect as this, then move it a little bit. After moving it, then I will, I will turn on the max tools for me to clear all those particles that I don't want. So once I'm able to do that, everything clean, but it's look bad, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do next is to bring what I'm hidden. So I will bring this, sorry, I will bring this, then lock the first one. After bringing this one, then I will, I will position it around here. Now, I have the whole work, right? Everything seems to be cool. But what about the white particle that is showing? I have to make sure that uh, I use my draw tools to cover some area that are obvious here. So I will tap on draw tools and increase it to 20. Now I will zoom it out, zoom it out very well zoom it out very well so i will be able to tap on the zoom and uh, close this close this close this close this okay so if it is too much you can remove it so now you can reduce the size reduce the size reduce the size reduce the size why will you look at uh, the one at the middle so the one in the middle others are so okay but we need to just adjust this we need to adjust this so you tap here while you click enable remove from eraser and you close this space okay perfect 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 eraser close it Okay, perfect. So now tap on the zoom and you zoom it in again. And you can see everything seems to be plumb. So you can still do it more 
to make it could depend on your choice so tap in on the eraser and you close this particular place so when you have that you can delete okay So just trim it to make sure that everything seems to be cool. So let's see how it looks like this. So everything seems to be fine, right? But it's obviously others are not showing. So therefore, I have to delete and erase this part as well. So I don't need it. Don't need, sorry. I don't need this. Increase the pencil size. So I have to leave it the way it was before. So tap on the zoom and just zoom it in. And everything seemed to be cool, right? So after we're able to do that, then we go to the color of the background. We change it to white. And you can see, right? Everything seemed to be plumb now. So once you're able to do that, then the next thing we're going to do is to now give a shadow. So I'm going to tap on the upper one the one i placed so i will go to color so you can try this one out and you see how logic it is so reduce the opacity of this shadow i mean of this color reduce it then you go to blur radius reduce it to four enable the outer glow and the stroke just i mean enable the offset white to five and uh, this to something like a uh, three okay then we tap okay so now let's look at how this stuff look okay to see whether it's cool but i'm thinking am i doing the right stuff so let me off the shadow so after offering the shadow i'm going to bring this one up okay after bringing it up i will lock order so i will tap on this one so after tapping on it and it will enable the stroke so the stroke is still working right so i will increase the shadow a little bit so everything seems to be cool now so reduce it a bit okay perfect what this we carry five and this we carry other so thank you for watching guys i believe we'll learn something from here so this is how to make a text mask effect your android smartphone like a photoshop like using your android smartphone so thank you for watching guys i believe we'll learn something from here god bless you so make sure you have your work being saved as ultra perfect